Let's finish our belt rig. What I'd like to do from here is go in and hide the local rotation handles. We no longer need to see them. So we're going to just go through and hide those. And now we can start to work on constraining what will need to be locked down. So for instance, these extra joints we've added, we're going to want to lock them to the position of our hinge rig. So for instance, for our belt end joint, let's go ahead and grab that, shift select, BN belt A on the left side, and we'll go ahead and point constrain. All right, let's go ahead and take care of that for the opposite side. Again, we grab the buckle bone, shift select our belt joint, and point constraint. Let's do the same thing on the opposite side. Press the G key, and one more time. Okay, great. Now when we build these animation controls, we'll also want to orient constrain these objects to those controls. So what we can do is work with, let's say, a joint control, or what is actually a curve that's in the form of a joint. So we have a, a script that we can use. I'm going to head over to our script editor. We can go ahead and clear out everything. Load script. Move over to our scripts folder. And let's go ahead and grab the joint curve. All right, so what this does is it builds a few NURBS curves. And then it's going to rotate a few of those curves until we have the shape of a joint. And then next, what we do is we freeze transformations on those curves after we've rotated them. We find their shapes and we parent the shapes to the first curve. And then we just go through and delete the transform nodes. So we're just left with a curve in the end. And then we rename that, that shape that we create. All right, so what I'll now do is go ahead and highlight everything. We can go ahead and move this over to our shelf. Let's go ahead and rename this tool to, let's say, joint shaped curve. And we could always use that as our tooltip. All right, for the icon label, I'll simply name that JCRV, and we'll choose Save All Shelves. All right, so we're ready to now start building these control objects. So there's one. We can go ahead and move that in place just by snapping it over to, let's say, the right side. And then what I'll do is go ahead and start to scale this down. Once we find a, a good size, we can then start to duplicate this around the rest of our belt. So let's say we bring this to about a scale of 0.1. I think that's going to work. All right, so at this point, feel free to go ahead and freeze transformations. You can now go ahead and duplicate this object. It might be easier to clone this around the belt rig by hiding our character. So we can vert snap. So can we duplicate vert snap to each joint? Okay. So each joint now has a control. We'll now want to go through and just freeze transformations. We could always bring our character back. Let's go ahead and rename these. So we'll keep this simple. That's going to be CC L belt A01. Copy that, move to the next curve, paste, and that will be belt B. And the one in the back will be C. All right, let's go ahead and take care of the opposite side. So that is R belt C. 
copy the name. Use that to rename the next one to belt B. And of course, this last one is belt A. All right, we're going to want all of these to be parented to our main hip control. So let's go ahead and grab them all and parent. OK. Now for each of these, we will control position, rotation, but we will not have any scale control. So let's go ahead and lock and hide that and our visibility attributes. OK, now we can start to recolor these. Let's go ahead and take care of that. So on our left side, of course, that's going to be blue. And on the right side, we use red. And we're just about finished. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of the next. So we'll start to recolor these on the right side. And then we can get to constraining our belt joints. Which is also going to be pretty straightforward. Okay. All right, so at this point, let's go ahead and now go through and start to kind of lock these down. So starting at the front, we'll grab the control object for R belt A. We'll shift select BN belt A, and we'll apply an orient constraint. No need for maintain offset. Now let's go ahead and grab the control again. We'll shift select our buckle bone and do a point constraint. All right, moving over to the opposite side, grab our control object, grab our BN L belt A joint, apply an orient constraint, and now we can go ahead and point constrain our IK handle. And let's go ahead and take a look at this after we have point constraint. So what you can see now, as we start to move this, that our bind joint is not going to separate from the hinge rig. That's exactly what we want. Great. All right, let's go ahead and take care of the others. So this next control object on the left side of the hip, that will simply control edge joint with a parent constraint. No need for a maintain offset. We can take care of the opposite half. All right, and now we can go ahead and finish up. So again, grabbing the control, grabbing the belt C joint that will be skinned to, we'll need to apply an orient constraint. Now grabbing our control, grabbing the strap bone, we'll apply our point constraint. Let's go ahead and take care of that for the opposite side. Again, apply the orient constraint. Grabbing our IK handle, we'll point constraint. And of course, we always want to test things out. Everything is looking good. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we start to move our hip around. Great. Everything's moving exactly the way it needs to. This is going to look great once the belt is bound, and we'll get to that shortly. All right, so as a last step, we can go ahead and add these objects to the lower body sub-character set. So I'll go through and start to grab each of our controls. They all should share the same channel data, so it should just be as easy as highlighting all of those channels and choosing add to sub character set. Great. So that finishes up our work on 
our belt rig. So what do we have left to do? Well, in the next lesson, what we're going to do is set up our buttocks rig. And then from there, we're pretty much ready to, to bind. So we're just about there, just about finished with our character rig.